Tonight, Governor Ducey announced nearly $27 million going out to support summer learning programs in our state. Elliot Polikoff's live in our newsroom tonight with a look at how the cash could impact families. Elliot? Hey, Jared and Heather, the nearly $27 million, it's broken into a few different projects and programs ranging from Boys and Girls Club programs to Teach for America tutoring, but the end goal is the same, prevent that dreaded summer slide from happening after a tough year of learning from home. Brittany Smith has four kids, ages four to 11. I still feel like because of what they missed in the spring that they are a little bit behind. Frustrated with the quality of online learning during the pandemic, the Mesa mom enrolled her kids into a charter school with in-person learning, and they'll be going to summer school there starting in June. My uh, first grader needs some help with uh, reading and my, my fifth grader needs help with writing and different things that I think summer school can help with. Governor Ducey giving some help to families like Brittany's this afternoon, saying the funding will, quote, maintain student engagement, provide tutoring, enhance educators' professional development, and collect data on student outcomes. All areas that Deer Valley Unified School District's Dr. Gail Galligan thinks are critical to getting her schools back on track. We know that our, our kids are, are tired, our teachers are tired. Nearly two-thirds of this new funding will go towards devoting more resources to Project Momentum, a program that aims to help three districts, Avondale Elementary, Wickenburg, and Deer Valley. It's really to help teachers in collaborative teams um, identify high-yield instructional strategies, practices that will give us the largest gains um, in student learning. Other funding areas include counseling for students who feel disconnected and training for principals. The majority of these initiatives will either get started immediately or this summer. Still, families like Brittany's are wondering why they weren't created even sooner. My initial reaction is it's a little late. Um, it's the end of April. Parents have already, I mean, most parents that I know have already made plans for what their kids are doing this summer. And Ducey's announcement also stated that this is not just a one-off project. The governor's office saying there's going to be additional funding opportunities announced in the upcoming weeks. Elliot, $27 million, do we know where the money is coming from? Yeah, Jared, the dollars, they're being distributed. They're coming from the Governor's Emergency Education Relief Funding, and that's part of the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security, or CARES Act. Gotcha. More cash from the CARES Act Congress passed many months ago. Elliot, thanks so much.